Hi there, Roberto Riemeyer. Um, I've been selling on Amazon for six plus years now um, and uh, I've joined the Financial Quantum Leap program a couple of months ago. I've known Shane for a couple of years and uh, you know he's a successful Amazon seller and uh, he is uh, very uh, savvy on the financial side so uh, he has put together you know an excellent course that comes um, and, uh, you know, a critical time for uh, many, many business, not just Amazon business, especially due to, to COVID, you know, has put a lot of stress on, um, you know, on the financials, so in, in particular with increased the cost of advertisement, increased uh, freight cost and so on. So, um, you know, as I said, so this course comes at the best time. Um, I have to say that, uh, you know, I followed uh, all these uh, four weeks and implemented to the T what he recommends and uh, we have got a lot of clarity in our business. So uh, the course is structured in four sections. Uh, so there is the first one, the historical. <coughs> so basically, um, you know, you make sure that uh, in your uh, Xero implementation or QuickBooks, whatever you use, uh, you know, you have got the proper setup and the classifications. Uh, for the inflows and outflows uh, um, and, uh, um, you know, obviously cash balance. So um, the important thing of the setup is also Shane helps you to um, to find the CFO, so the virtual CFO. Um, and uh, this is critical because uh, you need to have, uh, you know, if you want to have the pulse of the situation, you need to have a weekly uh, reconciliations of your uh, of your accounts. So it's uh, it's a super important for uh, phase two that it's the forecast. So the, the forecast, obviously, you just um, <coughs> you look at your historical and uh, you make your projections in the next uh, five six months so you know how it's going to cost you in terms of advertisement the freight cost and the purchase orders that you have to make and so on so in this way you can identify if you have got um, you know <coughs> a situation of a potential negative cash flow so where you know you will uh, require a temporary um, uh, finance or, or um, you know for a more uh, uh, long-term things, you know, longer, uh, long-term finance. Um, so the pure tracker, for instance, that he has structured is also quite, um, uh, quite important because uh, it's, um, you know, heavily uh, linked to the financial end, to the, to the cash flow that we, we, we mentioned. So the, the third week is around the cash. Um, you know, it's an eye-opener for a uh, mini business because, you know, um, Shane speaks about the uh, cash conversion cycle and the uh, ROI. So, <coughs> and so it's important not only to, you know, to be profitable, uh, but uh, to have uh, a you know good pace, a good conversion, a cash conversion cycle. So, uh, the shorter it is, the the, the better because you know, <coughs> and if you have obviously a good ROI, so you can uh, um, in a year you can have more. Uh, um, more uh, uh, rounds and uh, obviously make more money so this uh, this is extremely important as Shane goes through several examples on how to improve the cash conversion cycle uh, and the uh, ROI so um, and last but not least that's so the the week four in the opportunities you know it goes in particular um, on the concept of debts versus equity um, so this um, you know uh, it's quite important for uh, for many businesses understand so if you want to bring a partner or if you want to access just uh, external debt uh, and obviously around the exit as well so for me personally i mean week two and week three around the forecasting cash were the most uh, important so has been as i said an eye opener and we have um, started to implement his uh, his methodology and uh, seen some uh, some great results yeah good luck with your journey and uh, yeah, i hope this uh, testimonial is uh, is useful all the best